Hi everyone, I'm Anna Mota, I'm a PhD student at the University of Salamanca and I'm here presenting you the first methodological part of my program, so designing an in-depth framework with experts using the Delphi method approach. And my intention is to create an e-learning course to prepare K-12 teachers to deal with the critical ethical dimensions of using artificial intelligence in education, particularly in what concerns sense of agency, helping them explore the context applications, the drivers, the ethical issues, and existing controls that may be critical to evolving these discussions. Of course, COVID-19 has been a game changer for the global debate on the role digital tech plays in education. AID may offer relevant solutions in this context. Nevertheless, there is scarce evidence about the benefits of AI-based systems in education, and its potential depends on an ethical design and cautious incorporation into learning practices. By 2019, no guidelines, no frameworks, neither regulations were there specifically for AID. Many studies emphasize sense of agency role in user experience and interface design. But there is a conundrum in the association of automation and sense of agency. So how can they connect? So automation and then having autonomous thought and control upon one's own learning path. This PhD also considers sense of agency as core for legal and ethical structures. I will present to you all the methodology of this program, although I am now finishing the Delphi method phase with a consultation of 15 experts in education, pedagogy, and tech. And with this information, we will be able to create a dilemmas on ethics in, AI, in AIED that will be the basis uh, for the discussion during a focus group we will have with teachers. And with all this, we hope we are able to create the program, the methodologies, and the activities of a social constructivist e learning course. And then we will invite teachers to participate in this learning course. And of course, we'll pre and final assess them through quantitative and qualitative means, including interviews and a role play activity where they can showcase the impact of this. The program upon their capacity to pedagogically deal with AI the ethical challenges. So, the Delphi method phase, we already had the iteration one with a very open questionnaire, and the 18 participants gave us uh, their answers to questions like this one If you were asked to forecast the future of education with artificial intelligence, what would you highlight? We had eight questions. And all the content was organized and labeled, of course, we had done all the content analysis and we came across these categories. For example, just an example of the first question, forecasting the future, we came across browser implications, knowledge management and share issues, learning processes, skills enhancement issues, and all the responses were given back to the participants. So they were confronted with the responses of all the experts, and they were asked to vote on the categories that they thought would be more relevant um, in terms of the impact that AIED could have on learning. So we got the responses from 12 participants. And then, once again, just for one example, we have here on the left side, uh, for the first question, what we have done was to cross-check these categories with the ethical framework for AI in education. So, for example, if you are worried with education becoming a business, of course, privacy will be at risk. If information becomes a commodity, of course, achieving educational goals will be more difficult. If we are... Uh, worried about uh, bad usage of AID, we may uh, come across larger learning divides, so equity may be at risk. And with all this information gathered, we had the um, opportunity to create eight hypothetical stories. So um, these are scenarios that teachers will have to, to discuss in the focus group. So the final iteration with the experts was asking them to give us their opinion on these dilemmas, on these hypothetical stories. Were they engaging enough? Were they credible enough? So we are still receiving those results. We have the results just from seven participants. And they told us that the scenarios could turn into dilemmas presenting more explicit trade-offs between gains and pains. We should include more biographical indicators such as characters' ages. We should have references to dates further into the future. And we have two very similar scenarios indicating uh, potential educational inequities from AIED usage. We also may be aware that 
teachers may resist to debate on this because these issues may seem very new for them, too far away from now, or they may also feel confronted with the teacher's passivity that is suggesting many of the scenarios. Another expert also uh, asked us to include a scenario that was more related to our arts, uh, arts education. Uh, I hope I will have of the opportunity to discuss this with you in further return. Um, and thank you for your attention.